Thanksgiving is just around the corner. If you want to create a simple and easy Thanksgiving centerpiece, this next video will definitely be helpful for you. I will show you three variations of the turkey and choose whichever you like. Are you ready? Let's start with turkey number one. Let's start imitating the neck of the turkey by using a decorative ribbon. Position your crunched up decorative ribbon right around the waistline of your winter squash and pin them on both sides to secure it in place. Just like this. Now with one inch strip of white paper, find the middle of that paper, slightly cut it halfway, just like this, open, and then fold it back. Trim the back and staple it. Now for the pilgrimage hat. First, fold a half sheet of black paper in half and then fold both sides back towards the middle like this. Again, fold both sides closer toward the middle. Cut this part and stop right here. Cut the same part on the other side. Wrap around the head of the winter squash. Cut off this protruding rim on both sides. Fold it right about here. Fold the rim upwards like this and fit over the head of the winter squash. Again, use the pins to secure the hat in place. Now for the rim that goes around your pilgrimage hat. Now let's use dried leaves for the back of the turkey. Cut all the stems off before you use them. Choose two medium-sized dried leaves. Position the two medium at the back of your winter squash. Pin them all to secure them in place. And two small ones on both sides. Now I will show you two ways to make a beak. One is easy and the other one is a bit of a challenge. It only appears complicated, but it's actually very simple. Cut straight lines on both sides, not going all the way through. Find the middle of those two straight lines and cut a V shape.
Now for the turkey's snood. This is the red fleshy bits hanging down over its beak. Use a red pipe cleaner about 3 inches long and shape them like this to hook over the turkey's beak. Then shape the bottom like this. If you're up for a challenge, you may even add legs to your turkey. Wouldn't that be a lot of fun? Uh -huh. Finally, our first turkey is finished. Isn't that easy? For these turkeys, use a fan instead of dried leaves. Now fold it like a fan, about half an inch to start with, and continue to do it as you finish the whole length of the paper. Trim the edges like so. Staple about an inch eye from the bottom part, like this. And then open midway over here, like this. So this is the part that you're going to glue later on. And voila! You have three Thanksgiving turkeys for your table centerpiece. You can do one or do them all. Happy Thanksgiving! And thank you for watching.